Justin Chu is here to weigh in on this issue. He is the executive director of Chern Kong Holdings, which is a Hong Kong-based property developer with a $27 billion market value. And we haven't seen Justin for a while, so thank you for joining us. Hi, Just Susan. before the uh, Chinese New Year, Justin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about bubble. Of course, a big B word. You know, it's been on the minds of a lot of property investors, even on mm -hmm. our chief executive, Donald yeah. Zung. What do you think? Is there a bubble? Well, if you talk about the property market, I mean, it's, it's an investment market. So the, if there is some bubble, I think it's a good thing. But of course, if there's too much bubble, then we've got to be a bit cautious. No? Uh, actually, three, two or three months ago, when people were talking about bubble, at that time, I was relatively at ease, you see, because I thought oh. that you know, some bubble would help our market sentiment, <laughs> and right. then it will improve the uh, overall market prices too. You see. But uh, the reason, what is the reason happening, especially with the recent two launches, then, I, well, I mean, I would advise the buyers to be a bit more cautious you know, uh, in making the decisions to go into the buying properties. You see. Yeah. So uh, I would advise them that they, they got to live within their means. You see. Don't over speculate and don't over stress yourself you know, because uh, the prices last year, the prices, uh, property prices have increased by well, uh, 30%, probably 30%. Yeah. But in January alone, you know, the property prices rose by 10% already. So uh, since the uh, July last year from now is 40% increase. Wow. I think it's too much and too sharp. You see. Really? So uh, buyers have to be cautious. Please live within your means. Okay. Now, uh, doesn't that remind you of 1997 mm. when people leveraged up to buy second, no. third, fourth homes for speculation? Um, does it? Right? Some are saying we're not back at those levels yet, so it's not exactly a bubble just it's, yet. Well, I don't think we should measure uh, whether we have uh, come back to the 1997 level or not, because the overall economy has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1997, at that time, the interest rate was very high, and liquidity was a bit tight. You see? Mm -hmm. But now we have a very low interest rate and the liquidity is uh, there's a lot of liquidities in the market yeah. so that is why people are very easy to leverage and that's why I have to cautious caution people that you know, when they make their buying decisions they have to be cautious yeah. because I'm sure I mean, this low interest rate environment will not last forever yeah that's very true yeah. I mean you know subprime that's what happened here yeah, but, then, yeah. but it's difficult you can't advise people not to buy because you know, uh, if you, you advise people not to buy last month then they will complain to you hey, you know I lost 10 percent oh, no. so, I mean, it's difficult so that's why I never advise people not to buy uh -huh. I only advise them to be cautious you no know, because it's really uh, six months in six months time the market rose by 40 percent is mm -hmm. I think it's a bit you know Unusual. Okay, so, so so if it's a bit unusual, what about the rest of 2010? We're still in a low interest rate environment, yeah. right? There's still probably, lots of money probably. swirling around. So you know, property prices in Hong Kong, how much will they go up in 2010? Oh, we don't have a crystal ball. It's I difficult know. to forecast. Is it? If the uh, overall economy's uh, situation remains, if liquidity still remains, I think it would go up by, by another 10, 15 percent. That's it. But, yeah, but For the, the point rest is, of 2010. Yeah. Well, because so right now it's already already quite high. Is it? I mean, we have a different base already. Compared to the mm -hmm. same time last year, actually it's already 40% above last year's level. So you can't expect another 40% on top of this, right? Yeah. Well, and what about, you know, the government uh, tightening? Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, the mainland keeps talking about mm -hmm. this bubble on the mainland property side. Here in Hong Kong, we have our chief executive saying we need to clamp down as well. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're overstretching at this point? Is this well, necessary I, at I, this I particular time? I think especially time? In, the, in the recent two months, you know, the markets get to be a bit overheated. So that's why the chief executive is making the right decision and the right warning right now to people that you know, it's a bit overheated, so we have to do something. But Hong Kong situation is different from mainland China, because in mainland China, practically, you know, I mean, they can control um, the overall macro economy, they can tighten the, the bank's uh, credit, and then they can also in increase the uh, adequacy ratio for the banks. See? But in Hong Kong, uh, it's difficult to change. But uh, of course, I think the uh, chief executive already um, has uh, has been informed of the situation and he has already taken a, a appropriate steps to cool down the market. Mm -hmm. That's why you, you see that a lot of supply will come in on stream, especially on the land. I do believe you know, this year we will see a lot of more land auctions mm -hmm. uh, with more land supply coming into the market. Oh, wow. All right. So let me just ask you at this point, there's uh, more land coming on to the market. I guess so. You see, the, because <laughs> the, this month and next, the next month there will be another more land auctions coming on. Uh-huh. Okay. So, uh, 
I get. I assume Chercon is going to go into bid, right? Well, I mean, we have in, we are interested in all lands. You see, uh -huh. I mean, we just assess the potential of each piece of land, and then you know whether see whether we can go in mm -hmm. and where our niche is. Now, any particular land that might be coming onto market that Chercon is most interested uh, of in? Of course, there is a major developer in in town. You know, we also, of course, want to do a, a bigger developments. You mm -hmm. see, so so that's why the uh, sites along the ML, MTR lines uh, with a uh, mass chance uh, transit uh, opp opportunities. You know, these are the preferred site for us. You know, but even the smaller plots, you know, we still need to look at it you know, because uh, we can provide them uh, more properties for, for the mass market people. Mm -hmm.